everyone, and today we're going to be talking about some steps to make a new character. These are steps that I usually do when making new characters, so maybe this can help you guys out as well. So step number one is the idea. So usually when people are making a new character, they usually have an idea of what they want it to be. So for example, let's say you have a character and you want them to have a brother, but you have this idea that you want the brother to be the total opposite of the character. So that's the idea. People usually have a reason for making a new character. Like maybe you need a villain for your story, or maybe you just want to make a really cool character just for the fun of it. But it's a reason for your character's existence. So just remember that reason, because it might help you out later with the character design. Because you don't want to have this character like, for example, let's say you have this person that's kind of poor or whatever, and you probably wouldn't want them to have the nicest clothes ever. So the reason for having the character is because you, need, you want a poor character, and the poor character needs to look the part, you know? So moving on to step number two is references. Okay, okay, I know. You've heard this like a million times from other artists. Use references, use references. Your art will be really good if you use references, uh, but uh, use references. <laughs> So what I mean by use references is get some pictures of what you feel like relates to your character. So going back to the character that has a brother analogy, I actually have a character that has a brother and I looked for some photos that I felt like fit him. It was very this sort of stuff and this is how he looks like. Well, at least for now. But you don't have to just stop at clothes. You can do color schemes, hairstyles, face shapes, really it's endless. Oh, and tip, once you've got the design and you're starting to work on the colors, try multiple variations of colors. So what I mean by that is, so let's say you made this character and you imagine that they would have dark brown hair, but then you try blonde and you like the blonde way better. So basically what I'm trying to say is don't be afraid to try new things. Like you might have imagined this tree like cliche, like brown bark, green leaves, but maybe change it around because you never know if some other option would be better than the first one. But then again, sometimes the first option was the best one. So just be open-minded. So the third and final step is draw, draw, draw. So let me break it down for you. <laughs> that was so cringe, why did I do that? So just draw them over and over again. So this is where you figure, like truly figure out who they are. Maybe in this stage you figure out their personality and you probably already have their personality semi figured out. But you just draw them over and over again to see if you truly like the character design. And find a way how you actually draw their face shape every time because I know for me, when I first start drawing out like a new character, their face always messes me up. I'm like, how do I draw their face and their proportions? Oh, and bonus, just please don't rush this. You don't need to create a character within one day unless like you have a big corporation or something and you're like trying to do this for an animation you have like you're on a time crunch but uh, most likely you're not <laughs> because the more time you have to think about this character the more ideas that come to you. Once you've got a character design don't be afraid to tweak it and like go back on some things like a character design is never really set in stone unless you're once again making an animated TV show like maybe I am <laughs> but yeah those are my three steps to making a character. Of course, these three steps aren't the only steps that you need to take. Like, there's probably other things. I just try to simplify, like, the process to, like, just to three steps because I could talk about this forever and ever. But if you like this video, maybe consider leaving a like so the algorithm could be like, oh, people might like watching this video. That is an accurate representation of what the algorithm sounds like, by the way. But if you have any friends that also do character design or maybe need some help or just need someone to push them in the right direction, maybe consider sending this video to them. I don't know why I went very high pitched at the end of that sentence. I don't know what I'm doing. And make sure to stick to the end of the video because there's gonna be some bloopers because I can't like English properly because um, I'm a four year old. Anyways, bye. You know, this video was very different from the usual videos. Like I actually had a script for once. Like, wow, okay. I don't know if any of you guys found this helpful or not because by no means am I a professional. I'm, I'm, like if you guys can tell by my voice, I'm, I'm just a little kid, I'm like 14. <laughs> Oh, and when I'm posting this, I'm going to start trying to post a lot more shorts, um, so just letting you guys know. Hello everyone! Hello, 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 hello. The character to be! The name of the bee! It might help you out later with the character design. I just bit my tongue. Like, I just try to simple, sim simplify. I just try to simplify my... I just try to simplify... Simplify... Why can't I say it?!